All right, you guys, welcome back. I'm in the shop today on quarantine. I've done a lot of extensive cleaning in here, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly sanitize your tools and your equipment so that when you go back to the shop, you're ready. Everything is ready to go, and everything is clean as it could possibly be. That way your clients can feel safe when they return to your shop. Here's the machines I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean the Gold FX, I'm gonna clean my Oster, and I'm gonna clean my new Gamma Ergo. But more importantly, I got a lot of dirty blades, and I get this question um, all the time. How do we clean, how do we maintain these blades? I have some of the most popular cleaners in the game. Probably this one is the most popular, and uh, Cool Care is also pretty popular. Now the thing about using these, for instance, if I spray my blade, um, by the way, you're supposed to wear a mask, you're supposed to wear gloves, you're actually supposed to protect yourself from this. These are caustic chemicals, and they can kill a lot of germs. And uh, it says on the back that, that it can kill like HIV, uh, blah, 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 whatever. So you get the idea. Um, we spray it on the clipper, we just turn it on, and let them air dry. Okay, so that's what, that's what these products, these aerosol products are gonna recommend. All right, and that's actually not going to be the end all be all. There's still gonna be a lot of stuff in this clipper. There's still gonna be a lot of debris in between the blades. So the way that we actually can clean it without taking it apart fully in a much better way is using Andis 7 and 1, okay? And what this is, this is a blade dip. And with a blade dip, you're gonna get a much better clean for one, and for two, it's actually going to oil it as well. Because what I was going to say about these aerosols is yes, they kill a lot of stuff. You still need to use them. This is the stuff that you can use in between customers, but this actually is detrimental to your clipper. It can cause it to wear out prematurely, and it's not actually going to oil your clipper in the way that this and a seven and one is. So the best thing that we can do right now is we want to start out with some of our plastic clips. All right, so these plastic clips, these can be washed, submerged, in a disinfectant or washed with soap and water and then we'll spray them with the disinfectant. So come on over to the sink. All right, so I'm over here at my sink. I'm gonna just dump these in. I'm gonna actually get a little bit of soap going and uh, I'm gonna actually start to try to soak these. If you want, you can dip them in your barber side. But each one of these, I'll take a, uh, like a brush so that I can get in between all the teeth, get every bit of those little hairs off, and I'll take the brush, I'll actually put some of the soap inside the brush, get that going, and I actually will use this brush for this purpose. This water's really hot, and as you can see, the soap and water, we're gonna keep this up. I'll go through every one of the blades, make sure they're all cleaned out completely. For now, so I'm just gonna drop them into the barber side. Now, if you go to barber shops and you don't see barbers doing this, whenever I'm about to put a straight razor on any of my clients, I put a straight razor in here. I usually work with several of them. I put a straight razor in here. I lay it over backwards into my barber side so that the straight razor um, is, is being disinfected in the barber side uh, before I ever use it. Now, it's still a, a brand new blade for every single customer, but we put it in the barber side backwards, even though it's brand new to further disinfect it. So, this is pretty much where, where my, my straight razor holders hang out. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna fill it with these clippers, with these clipper guards. Those are all submerged. I'm gonna let them sit while I work on the rest of my blades. Those are plastic guards. They're designed to create the exact distance that you might need to perform certain fades. And you know, that's, that's great. But these are blades. These are completely different, okay? So in this case, these things can cut a lot of hair in a very short amount of time with far fewer passes, which is why I use these to debulk with. So there's barbers who fade with them. Personally, I don't. I get asked this question all the time. Will you do it? Um, I'm not interested in it because it's not a strategy that I feel is as effective. First thing I'm gonna start with is my Oster Octane. I'm gonna knock out all this loose hair. I got this brush here pretty much for this purpose. I really don't touch clients with this specific brush. Unless I clean it real good when I'm done, but for the most part, this is a brush that I dedicate to this purpose. So once I've gotten this cleaned out, this is a great one that you could just spray. All right, now this thing itself, 
this pretty clean. But it's gonna get dirty anyways because we're about to put the blades back on it. But just to get it started out with a nice clean surface, I'm gonna hit all of these with the spray disinfectant. Open them up, close them up, spray them up good. We already did this one, so. All right, that's cool because those ones can have a couple minutes to sit and uh, let that disinfectant do its job. So the very next thing, I'm gonna clean my wall finale. Now the best way to clean the wall finale is actually to take it all the way apart. And you're gonna see that there's a lot of little holes in it, right? There's a lot of little hairs in it, right? So once I've gotten all these little hairs out, I'm just gonna spray this one up. Now we know that's cool. This, these blades can get really dirty and um, even trying to clean them in between every haircut is, is difficult because even though we spray them and we do everything we can, I'm actually going to just dip this in the barber side and uh, I'm just gonna let that soak also. So that's, uh, that's that for that one. We'll put that back together afterwards. Now onto the blade dip and we're also gonna take care of our shears because some of you guys are not gonna be in the shop. You guys are not gonna be in the shop for a while. Okay, you don't want to come back to a bunch of rusty stuff and the way that we can prevent that is by adding Potentially an additional amount of oil than you might add at a normal cleaning. So anyways, this is this is my Andis 7 in 1 You don't want to contaminate the contents of this jar, which is why I have this solo cup here So I'm gonna pour a little bit in we don't need a whole lot um, And look at how nice clean and blue that is. I mean remember we're in a barbershop the enemy of of the barbershop is hair. It is just everywhere. It is impossible to not get hair everywhere in a barbershop. We can only be so clean, but if I take a minute to just separate this out, I'm not gonna contaminate for my future cleaning. So now, this is gonna be used, all right? And we're just gonna run down the line through all my blades. One thing you're definitely gonna need right now is a rag. So I keep rags. I actually keep rags that I don't use on customers. This is like specifically for cleaning and stuff. And uh, I got one here. We're gonna get oil everywhere. That's okay. I'm gonna start with the five zero. I use this blade for debulking, putting in skin lines and doing clipper over comb. This blade takes a lot of abuse. So I'm just gonna take it here. I'm gonna dip it right in there. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna dip it in and just let it run. And you can see all that crap spilling out. All right. And I'll tap it as I turn it on. You see all these loose hairs just coming out as it begins to get clean and oiled at the same time. Now, this is something you should be doing at night before you, before you leave the shop. Use the spray cleaners during the day and use this at night. You really don't want to use this during the day because you'll get oil all over your next client's head. Okay, these need time to dry. So what I'll do is as soon as I've gotten this clean, I've already cleaned this tray. As soon as I've gotten this clean, I'm done with this blade. I'm gonna put it in my blade holder, all right? Now, for those of you guys who are going to be spending um, a lot of time outside of the shop, you could even put a tiny bit of oil in your blade holder. Now you could just put just just a tiny bit, and it can keep it it can keep it from rusting. It can keep it from uh, having issues. But I happen to have one of my blade caps for my detailer, which I'll also clean. Once I'm done cleaning this, I mean, look at the piles of hair that just come right out of it. Crazy. I mean, look at how much hair is in that cup from how clean it was to now. All right. But what's nice about this, if you still have your blade caps and you're gonna be out of the shop for a long time, it's very smart to put a little bit of additional oil on it and just close it in there. Now, it's going to remain on that blade, uh, coating it and keeping it good until you're until you're ready for your next use. All right, same thing with this one. I mean, look at how much is just pouring out. This is gonna turn black before we're done.
These things are powerful, man. These, these things are slinging that stuff everywhere. And uh, we might we might have to get more and a 7 and 1 in there because it's starting to get pretty dirty and I don't want to clean everything with that nasty amount of hair still in there. I'm just going to put more and a 7 and 1 in here. And I'm actually going to do something that doesn't have a lot of hair on it first because I wanted to take care of my, my scissors as well. So I have my shears here. I'll just take them, coat them up a little bit, let this run up and down, and then I'll wipe these off. So these are nice and oiled, ready to go, clean. And it's very important to keep your shears clean, man, because not only might you cut a customer with your shears someday, you might cut yourself. So it's, it's, it's good for it to stay clean. And especially if you're gonna be out of the barbershop for a while, a lot of these you're gonna come back to are not gonna work. Sticky, nasty, and having some rust on them, and you just you can just prevent that by by oiling everything. So once I got my oil on all my shears, wipe them shears off. These are good to sit, man. They're nothing's gonna happen to them. They can sit, and uh, they got oil on them, and they're gonna be sharp and ready to go when I pick them up. Take every single one of these apart, and like you really wouldn't even have time to do that every single day. You might want to take these apart if they're really really nasty. Take them apart and clean them um, all the way, wipe them all the way off. But let's face it, after one haircut, you're gonna be right back where you were with them. So a blade dip is a really, really good idea. So we do the blade dip and we are uh, got, getting everything clean. I've, I've dipped all my blades, all my blades are good. They're all sitting in this nice clean thing here. And you do not want to spray these don't spray these with any of your aerosols now because you're gonna destroy the coating of oil that's on them. So if you're planning on letting them sit for a while and you're not gonna you're not gonna be in the shop for a while, just let the oil stay on them and they're gonna be fine and ready to go when you come back to them. But if you're gonna to go to using clients, you might wanna spray them, it'll help get some of that oil off so that you can not get your client all full of oil. These are good to go. All right, we're gonna finish this up here. How you doing, buddy? Hey. Oh, we're not open, man. No, no sir. we're not even allowed to be open. I mean, technically, we're not even really supposed to be here. Uh, yeah. But uh, I saw your sign. I was going to go online and try to get an appointment, but no. All right, so I'm going to put my wall finale back together. I just put a little bit of oil across the top. This sat in the barber side, so this is nice and clean, ready to go back on. Uh, you can see the way it goes on. It just goes on straight, and then you twist it. Now I'll put my finale cap back on. We're good to go. And uh, this machine's done, ready. This machine, I'm gonna let it stay with the oil on it. So that one's done, that one's ready to go. And uh, the rest of these guys, all you're gonna have to do now is just take these off, dry these out, and put them back in their holders. And hopefully, if you guys are just customers that are watching this, uh, hopefully the barbershop that you find yourself going to is taking these measures serious and doing everything that they can do uh, to help to, to prevent any potential uh, transmission uh, so here in our shop, we're going to be changing the way we do everything. We're going to be using face masks, gloves, and uh, spraying Lysol on everything and just, and just doing everything we can to reduce the potential of, of spread. So all right, on my little blade holder, this is something I really love to do, is uh, I like to use my most, my most common blades that I use are my one and one half. Uh, my half guard and my one. So I like to put these three in this holder as well. So I'll put my half guard right in there, bam. Now I know that when I come back to the shop, everything that I cut hair with is clean and safe. The other guy was gonna try to sit down in here, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> got customers, these poor guys, they wanna come in and they want haircuts and I want their business, I wanna, their support but I can't I can't take the risk okay you guys uh, like I said this is and is seven in one that's that's what you need to do with it that's how you you can clean all your stuff and oil it at the same time I'll put a link in the description for all the stuff that you guys see me using in this video and I want you guys to stay safe during this troubling time and uh, you know protect yourself at all costs wait a minute before you guys go I want to invite you to hit that bell hit subscribe and stick around because we're gonna go live all the time it's far more interactive it's a lot more intuitive you'll learn a lot more and uh, we'll go through this video and many others 
as we continue to grow. We build off each lesson from the last week, so don't miss out on that opportunity. It's free, it's fun, and we're going to have a good time and a lot of guests, and we do giveaways. So I encourage you guys, hit subscribe. Other than that, man, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.